In grade two, you learned how to count to 100. In grade three, we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to learn how to count to 1,000. But before we do anything at all, you need to be comfortable using this hundreds chart. Here's what I recommend you do. I need you to pause this video right now and practice this chart. Be able to count without looking at it from 1 to 100. Okay, memorize it and then go backwards from 100. So 100, 99, 98, 97, all the way up to 1 again. All right, and be able to do it again without looking. And when you think you've got it, call somebody over and test yourself and have them test you and be able to read it to them. Try reading it to them without looking. Okay, and only when you can do that, continue to the rest of this video. Okay, so assuming you've done that, let's find out what comes next. Okay, so look, we've went one, two, three, four, five, la, 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 all the way down to 100. Okay, Mr. Malm, what comes after 100? What's the next number? Okay, let's find out. What? What did you do, Mr. Malm? You just wrote the numbers all over again. Here we got, what is this? One, two, three, all the way to 10. Here we got one, two, three, all the way to 10. It hasn't really changed. All I put was little zeros in front. Okay, but it still says basically the same numbers. Okay, what's going on here? Does that mean that one comes after 100? No, that's not the point I'm trying to make. What I am trying to make, however, the point is that these digits, once you get to 99, they start all over again. These last two digits. So once you get to 99, you get back to zero. See these last two numbers? They say zero. And then it goes all the way back again. One, two, three, four, five, and then 37, 48, all the way down to 99 again. But there's one difference. There's one little slight difference. And that is this digit here. See that one sitting in front? Okay, that says 100. That one is gonna move on to the next chart in front of all of these digits. They're gonna go like this. Isn't that lovely, a beautiful sound? You got the one sitting in front of all of these and you're gonna keep going the rest of the way here. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for a second because I wanna be able to make sure you know how to read this. What does that number say in the first spot here? Look, see on the opposite side it says one. Here it says 101. That's the only difference, right? Just you gotta say the word 100 before all of these numbers. So here, 102, 103, 104, all the way up to 110. And here, 111, go on the opposite chart, the same box on the other chart here, says 11. Here, 111, and they all match like that, right? So the only difference is you're saying the word 100 before all these numbers. So you got 100, 21, 100, 22. Let's fill the rest of this in. Yikes. Okay, we stop at 99 because remember, the numbers start again after 99. They've got to go to the next level. But we don't put the 1 here. Okay, if we put a 1 in front of these zeros, we get 100 again. But we already did that here. That's 100. We don't want to put 100 again. We move on to the next section, which is the 200. You see that? So 1 here. You got to put the two here once you get to the zeros. Now we're going to start the next chart. Okay, what did I do here? I put this, okay, all I did here is I copy pasted that last one we just built and I put it here from 101 to 200. Now, what's the next number? Oh, Mr. Malm, you didn't do that again. You didn't put the one all the way to 99 and zero. Oh, yes, I did. I really want you to understand that. These numbers, once you get to 99, they start all over again. You have to understand that. That's so important. So now that, what, what goes in front of all these? Well, if we continue from here, that two in front of the zeros, that's new, right? We had ones before, now we got the two. So we got to stick it in front of all of these. Twos. So what does that number say here? It says 201, 202, 203, all the way up to 210. Twos in front of here. Ah. Oh. Right. Somebody's gonna have to clean up that mess. Somebody has to clean that. that. That didn't sound too good. Okay, so look, right, we have uh, 291, 292, 293. Just like the last chart, we gotta say now the word 200, well, the words 200 before these digits are said. So 200, 91, 200, 92. And then once we get to 299, we got to change that number in front again into a uh, three. Yeah. All right. Let's keep moving.
Oh man, you did it again. I'm going to do it for the rest. Uh, well, I'll go ahead here. Well, three, we got seven more slides. I'm going to keep showing you this 1 to 99 chart all over again every single time. You got to understand this point and I'm going to drill it home. So let's see what we have in front here. Let's reveal it because they're hiding. All right, we got it. It's the 300 chart. Okay, so what does that mean, Mr. Malm? I got to put threes in front of all these? Yeah, really? Is that that easy? Oh yeah, it's that easy. So we got to put threes in front of all these all the way to 99 and then you got to change it. Okay, and then we get to the 99, get to the, the, the number start again, but you have to change that three into a four. So how do we say this last number? That says 400. Okay, we got another one here. Let's uh, reveal in the middle somewhere. Let's see what's lying under these uh, hiding spots. Okay, we got 400s. So we have 441, 442. That means we're going to fill all this up with fours. Okay, so uh, be able to read all of these. You're just going to say the word 400 before you say the rest of the number. So 400. 34, 435. And then once you get to 499, that's where the number changes. We're going to call the next number. Hey, what's after 499? 500. It's like a secret zone once you get to 99. Okay, so let's see here. Let's reveal this last row. We got the 500 chart. So let's see what's going on here. We got 591, 592, 593, all the way to 599. And then the magic zone right here from 99, you get 600. Okay, so does that mean, Mr. Melm, I got to put sixes in all these? Or I got to put sixes in, in front of all these numbers? Absolutely not. No way, Jose. Because if you do that, um, you've broken the rules. Uh, what's the rule here? Okay, we got fives in front of all these. You don't get the sixes. You don't, you don't get like 600s. These are all 500s. Okay, that's what this says here. We got 500s, fives, fives. This one doesn't want to open. Wait. Okay, I, mess, I messed something up here, but these are all supposed to be fives. And then here, fives and fives. Okay, moving on. Uh, what do we have here? Let's reveal this row. The 600s. So we got sixes in front of all these. And the last row. We stop at 99 again because 700 comes up. Okay, so this chart here, let's reveal this row. This is the 700 chart. I hope you're catching the pattern here. I hope you're paying attention. So we got 711, 712. That means we got to fill it all up with sevens. And then once you get to 99, change that seven in front into an eight. Here, probably the 800. Ooh, that's a bad way to start this chart. We got 800s nonetheless. Got to fill it all up. And then 899, you go to 900. And then this one here, the first number, 901, 902, 903. And then that means what? That's right. Fill it all up with nines. 999. Hey, who knows what 999, what comes after that? What's the next number after 999? It's a 1,000. This is what a thousand looks like. It's one with three zeros after it. That's a thousand. It's kind of like a hundred, but with an extra zero. So let's do a few practice questions. Arrange the numbers from smallest to biggest. So we have a whole bunch of numbers here. Now, here's what I recommend you do. First strategy is this. Look at the number in front. The one here, that means a hundred. One hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred. They're all hundreds. Okay, if they all match... Look at just the last two digits. That's what's going to really reveal what the answer is. So ignore this first one and all of them. Ignore this one, this one, this one. Just kind of forget about it for a minute. And look at the last two digits. Here we have 15, 16, 17, 22, 19, 21, 20. They want from smallest to biggest. What's the smallest last two digit combinations we have? I think the answer would be 15, right? 115. That's the smallest because... 
22 and 17 and 16. They're all bigger than 15. So we're going to put 115 in the first spot because it's the smallest number. And then in order, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, and 122 is going to be the biggest one because look, 22 is bigger than all these other numbers. And now what we've done is we've put them all in order. By the way, they're supposed to snap in the box. I don't know what happened here. Something went wrong, but we'll keep moving on nonetheless. So arrange these numbers in order. Again, smallest to biggest. So look, we have 100, 100, 100, 100, 2. Okay, oh, okay, we have two sections here. We have the hundreds and we have the two hundreds. So looking at those first digits, let's put them together here. Let's put all the hundreds together and we'll put all the two hundreds together. And now, uh, okay, what comes first? Well, the 100s come before the 200s, if you think back to that chart that we made, those charts that we made. So let's decide out of these four here, out of these four, which one is the smallest one? Which one comes first? Well, look at the last two digits. That'll tell you what comes first. 96, 98, 99, 97. I think 96 comes first. So 196, 197, 198, 199. And hey, oh, Mr. Mom, I get this. 99, that's where the number changes. Yep, you got it. And then and then you start at the zeros again. So you got the two here. The one changes to a two. One to a two. And then got the zero. It starts all over again. 201, 202, 203. Okay, arrange these numbers in order. So what do we have here? We've got... 7 here, 700, 700. They're all 700s. So now what we do is we just look at the last two digits. 39, 38, 37, 41, 43. What's the smallest one out of all these digits here? It's going to be 37. 737. And then 700. Oh, oh no, we got a problem here. We've got these boxes. They don't want to really cooperate. So uh, I'll just put them in order on the top. 737, 738. Let's move all these boys over. 739, 740, 741, 742, 743, 744. You see the pattern with the last two digits? That's what's going on here. That's what you need to be focusing on. Now putting these numbers in order, let's look at the first digits. We got 8 here, 800, and then, oh, we got the 900. These are all 900s. So let's put them on their side. And what comes first on the number system, the 800s or the 900s? The 800s come first, right? So we have 899, that comes first. And then, oh yeah, Mr. Melm, I got it again. The 99 changes into the, not, the, the 8 here becomes, uh, yeah, you're right, 900. 901, 902, 903, 904, 905. Oh, they're snapping in, that's perfect. 906. Okay, we got something different here. Arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest. We want the bigger numbers first. So uh, I think it's the same uh, combination of numbers here. So let's do this. Let's put the 900s together. These all start with 9. And then this is the 800. What's bigger, the 900s or the 800s? I think the 900s come are the bigger ones. So we got to put those first. So let's see here, 905, 906, 902. Look at those last two digits. What's the biggest one? It's going to be 906, right? There we go. And then 905, and then 904, 903, 902, 901, 900, and 899. And... If you were to check your answer going backwards, going right to left, 899, what comes after 99? Remember, the number changes at 99. You get the 900, and then 901, 902, 903, 4, 5, 6. Hey, look, the pattern flows. It's just backwards. And then one more. Arrange these numbers from biggest to smallest. So look at this. They all start with 7. All of them do. So now we've just got to really, we just have to look at the last two digits. What's the biggest one? We want the biggest first. 44, 41, 43, 40, 42. I think 44 is the biggest. So it goes first. And then 743, 
742, 741, 740, 739, 738, 737. And the main idea, the main point I want you to take away from this here is, look, the last two digits tell you a lot when you're putting numbers in order and knowing when the numbers change from one group of hundreds to the next group of hundreds. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next lesson.